Hi, I'm Lily from the Creative Heart Studio. Now that you've gathered all your materials needed, we're gonna start our witch's cauldron. The first thing I'm gonna do is blow up my three foot balloon. This balloon, you can blow it up to whatever size you want. Just make sure it's not bigger than three feet because it'll pop. After I've blown up my three foot balloon, I'm going to blow up my three 260 balloons. They're going to be seven pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I always let out a little bit of air, about three inches, so that I can tie my balloon. This also makes it a little bit softer, and that way it's not so tense and more likely to break. Then, I kind of smooth it out just a bit so that it's nice and soft. All my balloons are now the same size. I'm going to take my first balloon and tie it. I always double knot just in case. One, two. I'm going to do the same thing to all three of my balloons. Now that I've blown up all my balloons, I'm going to flex it a little bit so that it gives me a rounder shape. Now that we have our two sixties blown up and our three foot balloon, it's ready to, now we're ready to put them together. You're going to take the knotted part of the balloon facing up and sit your balloon on your 260. Remember, this balloon is about 15 inches in diameter right now, so it's not even half of it, um, half of the size that it can be inflated to. You can go ahead and make it a much larger balloon. Just make sure you don't over inflate it. Now we're gonna take our glue dashes and we're going to peel them and start placing them in different points of the 260 and the three foot to make sure that they're adhered together. Now that I have my balloon adhered to my 260 on the bottom, I'm going to repeat the same process with one on the top. Make sure that they line up so that your cauldron looks even. Now that we've adhered our two balloons to our, our three, three foot balloon, we can remove the excess of the balloons by cutting it off. We have one extra, but that's just in case one of them pops. I always like to have an extra one just in case one of my balloons gets funky and it wants to pop. Now that we have our cauldron ready to go, the bottom piece, we're gonna start making our bubbles. In this portion, you can either use 11 inch balloons to start or five inch balloons to start. This depends on how big you blew, how big you inflated your three foot balloon. If this was larger, I would start with 11 inch balloons to give me a bigger base. However, my balloon is not inflated as much, so I'm gonna start with five inch balloons. Now I'm going to start by tying and blowing up two balloons and tying them together. I'm holding one in my finger here so it doesn't release the air while I blow up my second one and then I'm going to tie them together. I'm going to move this to show you. I'm going to take both of them. They don't have to be the exact same size. Release a little bit of air and push them down so they're nice and round like bubbles. Then I'm going to tie them together. Now that I have my six pairs of balloons, I'm going to intertwine them by twisting them into each other. Now I'm going to take these three and I'm going to put them as my base of my bubbles. And I'm going to adhere them the same exact way using glue dashes. I always try to find the little corner, like the little spot where they fit perfectly nestled in there. Now 
Now that I've adhered my three sets into my cauldron, I'm going to start individually blowing up balloons and filling as needed. Now, sometimes when you're looking at your cauldron and something doesn't look right, you can pop a balloon and not be afraid. Sometimes it's just the composition that looks um, that's more important, so that if you need to pop something, you pop it. Now that all my bubbles are adhered to my cauldron, we're pretty much done. I did want to give you a little tip. When I like to make really, really small balloons, I inflate my, my balloon up until about two or three pumps. Then I release the air to about the size that I want it. I push up all the air so that the latex is stretched so all my balloons match in color. I twist it and then I tie it. This is how I get all the tiny little balloons. Cut off my tails because it makes it a lot cleaner. And whenever I'm placing balloons into my cauldron, I always make sure that the back piece is always facing towards the inside. So all of them are always facing towards the inside, which is like to, to the middle point. That way you don't see it and it's all nice and clean. If I ever see a little tail, then I just fill it with another balloon. Push up twist and tie and that's it our witch's cauldron is done 